Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Started From The Bottom. We are in charge of Bath City today. We have a FA Cup third round tie and an important game in the Premier League as we look to get things back on track to qualify for European competition next season. Let's get into it. So guys, last time out, you would have seen us lose on penalties to Leicester City in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. Um, away from that, we've been trying to get things back on track in the Premier League, but it's not exactly been going swimmingly. Um, we have had a 0-0 draw with Fulham before absolutely pasting Leicester in the league. We played them just two weeks later, having lost at home in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal on penalties. We played them at Leicester at the King Power, and we absolutely battered them 5-0. Um, after that, we drew 1-1 with Wolves. So the Premier League table, guys, looks like this. We are currently seven points adrift of Leeds, who are fifth. Um, we do have a game in hand on them. And we are 10 points behind Manchester United, who currently occupy that fourth spot for the Champions League. Manchester City have had a massive resurgence this year after finishing outside the Champions League spaces, um, probably down to Haaland's 11 goals this season. And they are looking pretty good, I cannot lie. Um, so obviously the main aim is to try and secure European football for next season. We've obviously got to try and have Leeds in our sights. Leeds are doing pretty well in the league. Um, uh, they, they beat us earlier on in the season and uh, it's just it's just one of those things we're just going to have to try and claw our way back in and hope that we can get some positive results against some of these big hitters and stop losing silly games like um uh the 1-0 to Southampton uh the 4-2 to Brighton and then drawing games like this one against Fulham I can't fully remember the game but I'd like to think that we were the better side yeah 26 shots 15 on target didn't score which, considering we've got one of the league's most um, most prolific strikers, is a little bit of an issue. Anyway, moving on. Today's episode, we are going to be taking on Crew in the FA Cup third round. And I will show you this game against 12th place Tottenham in the Premier League. I was debating showing you the games against Tottenham and Manchester United. But over the past couple of seasons, we have played Manchester United an awful, awful Lot. So I thought I'd bring you a different team so you can see what Tottenham have done in the time that I have been in this save. So if we take a look at our FA Cup opponents, Crew Alexandra, they are currently 15th in Skybet League One. Um, negative goal difference as well. So you'd like to think that we could have a nice uh, run out against these guys. Obviously, they have a decent academy in real life. Um, this guy here, Lee Kerr, 16 years old, is wanted by a few different clubs. Uh, Neil Lennon's the manager as well. So this should be an interesting game, guys. I will advance and we will be back with the team selection in just one moment. Okay, guys, we are almost ready to take on crew in the FA Cup. However, there's been a little bit of fuel added to the fire. As Neil Lennon has said before the game, what are your thoughts on playing a team the size and stature of Bath City in the FA Cup? And Neil Lennon's response was, I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I was hoping to go up against one of the bigger teams. Um, yeah, I can see where he's coming from, but obviously we're a pretty big team. We're, you know, finished in the top four. We're a Champions League team. Yeah, okay, maybe we don't have the size and the stature of some of these others, but I think we are a big team. Anyway, so because he said that, I'm basically naming my starting 11 and I want to pace them up against the wall. Um, so we have Bailey in goal, Rivas, Emmanuel, Amakanji, Anwar is playing at left back, Bilbao, Ildreton, O'Neill, Fury, Azevedo and Valentin Vega. You better watch out, Neil Lennon and Crew Alexandra. So guys, we are underway in this FA Cup tie against Crew. We are at home slash Bournemouth Stadium and I've named a strong start in 11 because of what Neil Lennon said about us not being a big team. Um, hopefully we can get a really positive result. I'm just going to leave us on attack in the entire game as Phil O'Neill skips past one, skips past two, gets absolutely clattered and the referee 
upon consulting VAR. Points to spot. We've got a penalty four minutes in. Valentin Vega steps up against Jojo Wollacott, the former Bristol City goalkeeper. Fires it the opposite side to where the goalkeeper's died for his 17th goal of the season, guys. He is absolutely on fire this year. As I said, though, we are keeping it on attacking. We want to teach Neil Lennon a lesson in uh, being a nice guy, you know, and not being offensive. We, we, you know, I think potentially... His words have, have really, really riled me up, actually. I, 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 I'm very disappointed with what he said. Um, obviously, I shouldn't buy into it too much. But obviously, that is why we are playing the starting eleven as Valentin Vega almost makes it to there. Good save from Wallacott to deny him there. One of the Premier League's top goal scorers, Valentin Vega. So the League One goalkeeper is doing pretty well there. Vega with the set piece, swings it in, and Peter Amakanji is there to uh, fire in the second goal of the game, uh, the club's record signing. So we are showing all sorts of respect to crew here. On the volley, Amakanji's not missing from there, even though he is a centre-back. 2-0 to Bath. Another set piece for us here, as Anwar has stood over this free kick, takes it direct. Woolacott, amazing double save there, stops the free kick. Stops the follow-up from Emmanuel. Very good double save from the crew goalkeeper there. As we are basically into half time. His crew get a set piece of their own. Ball gets floated in and Evans heads it over for a goal kick. Bringing up half time. We are in a commanding 2-0 lead. Obviously, it's not exactly going to plan in the fact that I want more. Um, I want more. I want to embarrass Neil Lennon ultimately. Um and teach him a lesson about what you should do in a pre-match press conference. We are applying pressure here. Bill Bow robs the ball and goes flying down this right-hand side. Looks for the pass, does he? He doesn't. Looks like he hit the post or, or something like that. And Valentin Vega's on hand to tap in his 18th of the season. The referee allows it to go ahead. Let's take a look and see what actually happened here. Bill Bow running in into the penalty area. Has a shot, hits the base of the post, and Valentin Vega's there, reacts quickest, and taps in to double his goal tally for the game, up to two for Vega, and 3-0 for Bath City here. Ildrton rolls the ball, we look for that one over the top again, and Valentin Vega's in, and Valentin Vega wraps up his hat-trick against Crew, 19th of the season for Valentin Vega. I am slightly padding his stats here. Um, just want him to be really happy, basically. Uh, him goal scoring, his goal scoring makes me happy. So we will keep Valentin Vega on the pitch um, for a little bit longer. And then we will give Leon a little bit of a run out. 66 minutes, I think, is ample time. Uh, Leon can come on for Valentin Vega. Uh, let's bring on eight Nori for Anwar. And we will bring on Christian Mazo for Ilderton. Um, as I said, we are still showing a decent amount of respect here. We are basically playing our start in 11. Um, uh, obviously, now at 4-0 up, we have the option to make some changes. Is that ball over the top again? Oh, you'd like to think Vega would score that. That ball over the top again, catching crew out. Uh, Leon with the chance that time, but unable to make his mark on the game. As crew have a throw deep in our half. Can they get the ball inside the penalty area here? Clark, back to Oakley Booth, back to Wintle. We are applying pressure as you like to see. Ball all the way out to this left-hand side then. Rivas not necessarily on his man, but we intercept the ball and it gets passed from Fury out to Bill Bow on this right-hand side. Bill Bow goes past his man, keeps hold of the ball into the penalty area. Matthias Bill Bow strikes it at the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper saves well. Seventh clear cut chance of the game for Bar City. Um... It's been pretty comprehensive, hasn't it? I think I say it. You know, I think we've done. I think we've done what what we needed to do, and we wrap up the four 0 there. Valentin Vega only playing an hour because he was not needed for any more than that. We will say we are proud of the of the boys, and we advance into the next round of the FA Cup. Oh, 
grow up, Neil Lennon. Took several questions after Cruz elimination from the competition, blah, 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 blah. Do you have any thoughts regarding Hood and Bath over the fo uh, following the match? I've not been completely enamored with some of the comments coming from their camp. It's a bit, it's left a bit of a sour taste and I'd love another crack at them. Well, Neil, I'm gonna, I'd, I'd quite like to have a conversation with you, you, um, you rude, rude man. Oh, well, we secure... 160k um, for advancing in the third round uh, and we are expected to reach the fifth round so another easy tie would be good and Valentin Vega scoops a man of the match with his hat trick a little bit of an update on Valentin Vega as you can see he looks superb um, for 21 years old he's valued at 40 million now as I said, joint top goal scorer in the Premier League. Um, he scored four goals and got three assists in six Champions League games as well. Obviously, granted, we did absolutely paste Ajax in one of those games. But we got 18 finishing, 16 first touch, 18 composure, 17 off the ball, 17 technique, uh, 17 pace, 17 agility. He's either footed. He is labelled now as an elite striker which is great it's really reassuring really for us um so in the schedule next we will come back when we are ready to take on tottenham in the premier league and we will have a look and see what they've done with their team in the duration of this save okay so i've been given the option to pop back at neil lennon here do you wish to respond to neil lennon's rather critical comments following your meeting with crew um in short no but i will um, I'm going to say I don't, I don't particularly feel I need to address the comments. We were given a tough match and I'm pleased with our performance. I'm going to take the high ground and, you know, prove that I am the better man over Neil Lennon. We'll be back when we're ready to take on Tottenham. Okay then, guys, we are ready to take on Tottenham. Um, some small news that has happened in between the game against Crew and now... Um, our opponents for the next round of the FA Cup have been drawn. We will take on either Oxford United or Manchester United in the next round in the coming weeks in between our games with Everton. Um, it looks like we are scheduled games one day apart at the moment, 24th and 25th of January. So hopefully something happens there. I don't want to play three games in, in the space of, what's that, four games? Four games in 11 days. I'd rather not play that in January, to be perfectly honest. Um, also, we had Borussia Dortmund come in with an offer for Matthias Bilbao. We told them where to stick it. He is sticking put. It is time for Tottenham now, though, in the Premier League. Um, just the one change from the game against Crew. Uh, Christian Muzzo is back in for Ashley Ildreton. I do keep switching them about. Um, I think Ildreton's played... Oh, no, Muzzo's played more this season. Okay, fair enough. Makes sense. Um, so we will submit the team, as I said, just the one change. And we will look and see what Tottenham have. Interestingly enough, so they've got Oblak in goal. Let's go through the real players first. So they've got Oblak in goal, Hakimi, Eric Dyer's playing centre-back, uh, Donny van der Beek, um, central midfielder. He's a good player. Uh, Lo Celso, Deli Alli and Harry Kane is still going. How old's Harry Kane now? 32 years of age. Still looks a good player. Um, 232 goals in just under 400 appearances for Tottenham is not bad at all. Um, and But this is the guy that I wanted to show you guys. This guy, Sylvain Tacklefried, um, the French guy, um, French new gem. I think this centre-back looks incredible. Uh, he's a ball-playing defender, so he fits my style perfectly. Likes his ball playing into his feet. However, his estimated cost is 18.5 to 30 million. Um, and I don't know if Tottenham would sell him to me. Um, so they've got a couple of decent players, Tottenham. Obviously, they've still got a couple of real players. Deli Ali now knocking about at 29 years of age. Um, Lo Celso, also 29 years of age. He looks quite good, actually, I must admit. And then Donny van der Beek is a player who I admire and quite like in real life football. Um, he's doing pretty well as well, valued at 66 million. Um, seems to be doing okay for them, but not exceptional. Obviously, they do still have Harry Kane. They've got a couple of interesting ones on the bench. Uh, Diego Lernes, um, the wonder kid that everybody loves to sign in Football Manager. He's at Tottenham. And I've just noticed that they also have 
uh, Villa's own Jack Grealish on the bench as well. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. We will go through the dressing room. We will hand that over to Rude Van Nistelrooy, our assistant. And we are ready to take on Tottenham at Bournemouth Stadium, where we have been making it our own this season. I think we've been doing pretty well at home, even though we are a little bit adrift of everyone. Obviously, we need to make things happen in the Premier League. So a massive three points is required here against Spurs. As we clear that set piece, Vega gets the ball out to Felix Fury, who's able to run, gets past one defender into the penalty area, strikes it, and what a goal that is from Felix Fury. I think he's changed his boots. He's got blue boots now. What a counter-attack. Valentin Vega with the assist of, of sorts, apparently, passing out here. Fury gets it inside his own area, skips past one defender. Don't know who that is. Eric Dyer. Other player comes across, smashes it, and Jan Oblak has absolutely no chance of stopping that. What a goal by Felix Fury. Unreal strike from the young German. So 20 minutes gone and Tottenham are dangerous. So we have flicked over to the cautious mentality. Although it does look like we are absolutely dominating them. Obviously they're having a little bit more possession. But they haven't really had a chance yet. But maybe from this throw in. Uh, Hakimi and Donny van der Beek are able to create something here. Or not. Rivas steals the ball on this right hand side. And absolutely goes powering down this right hand side. Gets cut off by Matthias Bilbao. Who gets the ball now into the penalty area. Dodges one. Oh, Black spills into the path of Valentin Vega. And for the second time, Vega, uh, second time in as many games, Valentin Vega is there to make the most of something that Matthias Bilbao has created. Good little run here, Bilbao, into the penalty area, skips that challenge, strikes. Oh, Black spills that really poorly into the path of Vega. Vega and Felix Fury were queuing up for the rebound. And we go two goals to the good against Spurs. Can Tottenham create something of their own here. Jao Paulo versus Matias Bilbao. Matias Bilbao is hustling, works it, gets the ball into Vega. Vega's looking, looking for the pass. Gets cut up by his own player. Looks out to this left-hand side. Phil O'Neill's there then. Looks for the pass back to Valentin Vega. Edge of the penalty area. First shot's blocked. And what a save that is from Oblak. Oblak making up, in my opinion, for that awful, awful spill earlier to deny Felix Fury. Vega takes a set piece. And Spurs are able to clear. And that is the end of that highlight. And that is the end of the first half. So we are two goals to the good. Um, Leeds beating Arsenal as well, which is not good for what we are trying to do in terms of our league position. I'm going to say I am happy with the um, And the media expect something. Obviously, I'll black up to a seven considering he's already spilt one. That's quite a high rating for the goalkeeper. As we look to turn the screw here, João Paulo with the ball. We are applying pressure out to Delhi Alley on this left hand side. Poor ball forward. Namakanji wins it and is able to sort of go on a little run of his own. Looks to Rivas on this right hand side. Ball into Acevedo, who's got so much space there. Looks for Phil O'Neill, and that is a lovely challenge from the right back. But another poor clearance from Spurs. Gives us space to run with the ball. They're not really offering a great deal. It seems like a lot of their clearances are sort of... Oh, Phil O'Neill, you filthy, filthy man. One of the only English players in our starting eleven. Phil O'Neill. Lovely diag here from Rivas. Or was it Muzzo? Oh, it was Muzzo. Left-footed diag. Gets past. His touch takes it past. And then Oblak again. Nowhere near, no chance into the side netting. Seventh goal of the season from Phil O'Neill. What I was saying before that, though, is it seems like Tottenham don't really have um, anything. Like they're not holding the ball. Um, they're, they're just hoofing it clear and hoping that something sticks. And it's just not at the moment. Amakanji with the throw, then we get the ball back. Felix Fury into Bilbao in the penalty area. Back to Muzo, out to Rivas. We are playing some lovely football here. Back across, Valentin Vega. Oh, that is the chance you want to fall, and that is the that is the person you want to get the chance is Valentin Vega. And he misses there. He's already got one for the game, so I'm not too disappointed. As we do have the lead, we will make some subs. Eight Nori can come back on and actually get a few minutes under his belt. Azevedo wasn't playing too well, so we will bring on Fusto. We will make a triple substitution of our own just to see out this game against Spurs. 
into injury time. As I said, Tottenham not really offering anything. Tottenham have really, really fallen off the radar in this save. That was very good, boys. I'm very happy with the way you played and the team talk there. Everyone seems buzzing. We get a good result against a good team. Tottenham dropped down to 14th and we stay in 6th. If I just jump on Tottenham, where do we start the save? Is it this season? Oh, so they won it in the first season of the save. And then they've gone 4th, 6th, 4th, 5th and 12th last season. Um, with Paul McGuinness, who I believe is a Manchester United coach. He is... Yeah, former Manchester United under-18s coach. Um, he looks actually really good as a coach, to be perfectly honest. But he is the interim manager at Tottenham. Um, so things not going their way um, at all this, this, this save um, as after the first season. I'm going to give Fury a little bit of praise there. Well done, Felix. And after those results, that is what the Premier League table looks like. Let me make that slightly bigger for you. Uh, one moment, please. Hold the line caller. Okay, there we go. So that is the Premier League table as it stands. We've played 21 games. So we do have a game in hand on Leeds. Um, but Leeds do have that seven-point advantage still. Obviously, we are still tracking Manchester United. Um, and we've actually closed that gap on Man U. What, what's happened there? What has happened to Manchester United and why have they... Why have we closed that gap? What has happened? Did they lose their last game? Drew with Oxford. Lost to Liverpool. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, that is where I will leave things now, guys. Um, I think we will come back for... Mm, let's have a think. We will play this. Uh, for, we'll, we'll show you both, um, both rounds of the Champions League because obviously Champions League knockout stage... Um, we will come back then, in which case, for this game against Fulham and then the first leg of our Champions League knockout stage game against Atletico Madrid. Um, obviously, you will know our FA Cup fate in between them, but I assume we're going to play Manchester United and I assume we're probably going to get beaten. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, guys, and you are looking forward to our Champions League adventure continuing next time, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel so that you are alerted when I drop another video. It's been a good episode today. We've got two nice wins, one in the FA Cup, one in the league. Got a lot to do in that Premier League, though. So until next time, guys, I'll see you soon.